Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the Pro Football Chase Podcast. It's Isaac Signs with you. Joining me for an interview today is Michigan quarterback Shea Patterson. Patterson finished up his career at Michigan the last two years and is now prepping for the upcoming NFL draft. So, Shay, I know it's been crazy for you, man, leading up to this draft process and all this coronavirus outbreak, but how you doing today? <laughs> man, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just, uh, just trying to keep myself busy and, uh, you know, just doing anything I can each day, each day, whether it's working out or, you know, watching a little bit of film and just getting myself ready to, to go into an NFL building from day one. To recap your college career, I just mentioned it, but you went to Michigan transferring from Ole Miss. Now, I know there was a lot of different universities that were interested in you to go play for their program, but what was it about right. Big Blue that attracted your attention? Um, you know, so I'm, I'm originally from Toledo, Ohio, and I kind of grew up a, a Michigan fan. I used to go to you know, games there with my dad and my older brother all the time. Um, so I kind of had that, uh, at, you know, for the base part of it. But um, the recruiting coordinator, uh, Matt Dudek, was at Arizona when I originally committed uh, to the University of Arizona uh, with Rich Rod when I was a freshman. So he, uh, he got the job as the director of recruiting in Michigan. And then whenever I was transferring, he kind of just hit me up and, um, you know, I met with a bunch of teams, but you know, I just really enjoyed meeting with coach Harbaugh and, and, and loved the point, loved the plan that they had together for me. That's a perfect segue, Shay, because Jim Harbaugh has a strong resume developing quarterbacks at the college and NFL level. You look at Andrew Luck, Colin Kaepernick being the most notable names tied to him. So how did you enjoy playing for him there at Michigan? And I enjoyed the heck out of it. Um, you know, just his passion and, and the way he approaches each and every single day at work. Uh, it's kind of contagious. And um, just his work ethic and his mindset and his approach uh, to the game is something I'm going to carry uh, with me along, you know, throughout my career. But, um, you know, just you know, just going in and being able to, you know, wear that wear that Michigan uniform and play in the big house was, was a dream come true in itself. And, um you know, just being able to learn, you know, from all those coaches, uh, Coach Gaddis, Coach Pep Hamilton, who was my OC my junior year, um, Ben McDaniels, who was my quarterback coach this past season, who, who taught me a lot, a lot about the game, uh, both mentally and physically. So um, was, I think it was just a good learning process for me. You received third-team all-conference notice in your senior year, throwing for 3,061 yards, 23 touchdowns, eight interceptions for the Wolverines. Now, when NFL scouts turn on your film from the 2019 season, what positives do you want them to see about your ability? Um, you know, first of all, I, you know, it, it was tough. I kind of had a unique uh, college experience because I went through four offenses and three different head coaches and four different OCs and, four different quarterback coaches. So I think just the, the ability to adapt quickly and, and, and learn quickly uh, going into each and every single season uh, that I played uh, throughout the four years. And I think just, you know, having, you know, that ability to, to run the offense and to lead the team, I think is huge. And uh, maybe just, you know, the ability to create when nothing's there and also having that ability to, to, uh, to be a big-time playmaker when the, when the team needs to play. What was the most memorable game for you during your senior season at Michigan? I know there's a lot of different memories that I'm sure you encountered, but is there one game from this past year that you're going to carry with you for many years to come? Oh, um, yeah. I would say I would say the, either the Penn State game or, or the Michigan State game. Uh, Penn State, we were down like 21 to nothing, and then um, we kind of just regrouped at halftime and you know, came together as a team, had a shot to win it at the end of the at the end of the game. So I really loved how we fought back uh, after that adversity at Happy Valley, and then I think the Michigan State game at Michigan in the Big House is magical too. And you know, we were just hitting on all cylinders. You know, O line was doing great. We we're running the ball well, and uh, the receivers were out there making plays. So it was just a lot of fun. As you know, film study for a quarterback is crucial for success. So what do you do to put yourself and the offenses that you've engineered in the best positions to succeed? Yeah, I think that that is the most important part. It's the biggest key. You know, you're the leader of the offense. You get the ball in your hand every single play. And 
know, it's your job as a quarterback to lead and, and to know what the heck's going on, you know, at each and every single position. So, um, yeah, just having that, you know, that, that ability to, you know, adjust and adapt quickly, you know, just like everybody else, you know, learning a new offense, it takes some time. And I think that's why we struggled a little bit early on uh, in the season this past year. But, but yeah, I think, I think the mental side of it for me is, is, you know, it was a huge stride for me this year, uh, being able to work with coaching Daniels and, you know, him, him just kind of showing me, you know, the ropes and the, and the day-to-day preparation that it takes to be successful. Um, something I'm, uh, I'm going to use going forward. And Shay, you have showed a tremendous amount of resiliency throughout your college career. I mean, time and time again, when you're with the Michigan Wolverines leading them, as you just talked about a couple of games where you came from behind and you did not quit. So, how do you thrive in those situations where your back is up against the wall? Well, you know, you're actually big. You're, no, matter, no matter who who you are or, you know, how you look at it, um, I think your back's up against the wall every single game. You know, you just got to look at the situation for what it is and then, you know, get a plan together to, you know, accept the situation you're in and, and make it better. Um you know, we, we hit a lot of adversity uh, this past year and, you know, even last year uh, that we overcome, that we overcame. Last year we played Northwestern and Northwestern were down 17 to nothing early and, um, you know, had the resilience to come back and win 17 to 20 at their place, um, which they were a pretty good team. They went to the Big Ten Championship and gave Ohio State a, a pretty good pretty good game at the end of the year. But, um, yeah, I think you just have to look at it neutrally. You know, you don't get too high, don't get too low, and, you know, don't get too – you know, emotionally attached to the situation. It is what it is, and you just got to figure it out. You competed at the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. I knew you uh, tossed for a touchdown, 131 yards. What was it like being at that event, considering its prominence in, a quarter. in all the big-time prospects that it's put out? Oh, it was, it was a blessing. You know, I just I'm, – I'm, I'm very thankful for, you know, for Jim Nagy and, and my coaching staff for, for pushing me to get into that game and giving me the opportunity to – you know, show what I got. You also threw at the combine. You clocked in a 4-7-140, 31-inch vertical. How satisfied are you with that performance in Indy? Um, you know, for me, it was it was more of a, you know, I, I trained all, you know, for, for two months straight right after the bowl game. I left about three days after and um, went down to Florida for about two months. And I was running, you know, four sixes, low four sixes and, you know, doing all these, you know, I had really, had really good times. So I think, you know, I was a little upset about the 40 because I know I can run faster than that. And, um, very clear is what it is. Um, but it was, it was a long process. You know, we were on the field for like, you know, seven or eight hours. And I think I did my broad jump at like three 30 and then ended up running my LGO and shuttle at like midnight. So it was a little tough for group three, but, um, you know, a lot of guys can attest to that, but you know, I was just, it was a dream. It was a dream ever since a little kid just to be in that position, so I'm happy with where I'm at. Now, Shay, you're going to see a, a bunch of different looks at the next level, and I'm sure a lot of NFL scouts have already asked you about this, but what makes you confident in your ability to operate in any offensive system at the next level? Uh, I think you only have confidence, you know, when, you, when you've done it. You know, I think I've, I've done it for four straight years. You know, I've you know, been forced to learn a new system and new terminology and, you know, different schemes uh, throughout my college career, actually every off season. So um, for me, uh, the learning curve and, you know, the ability to go in and learn a new offense and, you know, get that playbook down, I don't think it's going to be any, any, any problem for me. Um, you know, I think I'm going to hit that. Uh, you know, I think that's going to be a smooth, smooth transition for me. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, going into the building, getting to know the guys, getting to know the coaches, and, and working my way up. Now, Shay, I saw something that was pretty interesting. I had Donovan Peoples-Jones on for an interview a couple of weeks ago, and I know he's your teammate, and I saw that you all had your own pro day because the Michigan one was obviously <laughs> yeah. canceled. I saw the video up on Twitter and all that stuff, man. Can you talk a little bit about how fun that was for you all to get out there and, and get some work in? Yeah, we were we were devastated, man. We were up in Ann Arbor like a week and a half early, and just just grinding every single day, going over the script. And then the night before, <laughs> you know, they, they canceled the pro day, so we were pretty upset. But um, you know, luckily, you know, our agents got something together, and um, like 45 minutes away in Toledo, uh, 
know, we put together our own pro day. So, um, you know, it was fun. It was a lot of fun to get out there with him and, um, you know, Sean McEwen and, and Buck West and, you know, a couple other guys. So, um, yeah, it was fun, man. And to close out the interview, Shay, what is your number one message to all the NFL executives that are still seeking to learn more about your character, your drive, and your motivation? Yeah, you know, I think I think it's all talk right now. You know, a lot of guys will say the right things, and a lot of guys will, you know, try to convince teams of who they are. And I'm just a guy that, you know. I'm going to say those things, but at the end of the day, I'm going to show it to you. Um, so I'm not not really too worried about, you know, where I'm going, uh, you know, when I'm going. Uh, I just know that, you know, whoever, you know, whoever, whoever gives me an opportunity, I'm going to make the most of it. All right, Shay. Well, that's a good word from you, man. I wish you nothing but the best as you continue your preparations for April's draft. So take care out there. Stay safe, man. Awesome. Thank you so much.